Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, just want to take a little bit of a moment. We got a little situation here. They trying to play games, y'all. They picked the jury today. Yeah, I told them I wasn't saying a word. So they picked the jury anyway. What am I going to do? Am I going to be afraid? Am I going to run? Am I going to scream? Am I going to shout? Am I going to respond? No. They, oh, they made it a point. If he doesn't say anything, then you don't have to infer it. And in fact, that, they just kept mentioning and wanting me to object and step in. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you something. This is the appeal, by the way. I've already gotten the appeal written. I just have to finish it. What do you mean you got to finish it? Well, it's like 60 points. Then I got to go back and take some junk out. Okay, this is the appeal. But I want to show you all one thing. One thing, one thing, one thing. Give me one second. Is that it? No, that ain't it. That ain't it either. Oh, I think this ain't it. I think that's the extra stuff. Hold on. Nope, that's it. Affirmative defense, due process. Because I'm bringing up some things that I've been wanting to bring up for years, y'all. But there's one thing I want to show y'all because it's impotent. Impotent. Okay, this is the legal definition section. We got the legal definition for presumption and the legal definition for affidavit. But we want to talk about Mirandizing. Pay attention. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You going to be using stuff against me? Uh-uh, you ain't using no stuff against me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, you must understand the same thing works with all of you. That if you speak, it will be used against you. So I'm putting it to the test. So they will convict because they told the jury 8, 9, 10, 12, 17 times. That if he decides that he ain't going to participate, you can't infer anything with that. So they did their little selection. They had four jurors who said that they would not vote to convict me. Because, now this sweet old young lady, Caucasian woman, she sat up there and said, well, first... I don't think I would be able to vote to convict a young man because he's a person of color and they already have a disadvantage. His first disadvantage is his color of skin. Second disadvantage is this court system. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm like, preach it, woman. Oops, I gotta be quiet. I'm sorry. I didn't do that, but I was thinking that, okay? Because I told the judge the jury should be able to vote their conscience. There's nothing in the Constitution that prohibits a jury from voting their conscience. Can a person be fair and vote their conscience? Yes, as long as their conscience is in line with law. Again, that's the whole thing about jury nullification. You see, the law, the Constitution, does not prohibit the jury from voting their conscience. And so she got rid of everybody who made it appear that they would side with me. They didn't know me. I never said a word. But I believe many of them understood exactly what I was doing. I believe they knew that I wasn't crazy. Of course, the prosecution and the judge wanted to portray me being crazy. See, they kept referring to me. They wanted me to speak up. They wanted me to say something, because once you speak up after the jury is selected, can't exercise your right to remain silent at that point. You got to do it before the jury is selected. So let me make sure. Oh, by the way, they said that I was driving without a license. Nobody gave me a citation. Nobody wrote me up. Nobody pulled me over. Oh, by the way, I actually gave away my car today. Well, actually, I did it yesterday. I sent the keys to the person today. He's going to go pick it up, knock stuff out. It's a company car. So, oh, I didn't tell you guys. Yeah, my car is registered in the company's name. So when the police want to pull somebody over, <laughs> they're pulling over a company car. But it's a company car that 
as some of you guys who are having a Q pack are going to see, company car that is listed as non-profit, non-commercial, private use. That's right. It's literally, we didn't list it that way. The, they list it that way. And we're going to do that for our Q pack people. We're working on it. Okay, you just going to have to be patient. Not going to get it tomorrow. Not going to get it next week. We're working on it. Just got to be patient. Many of you who've been purchasing a Q pack and sending your receipts and everything, we've been getting those, so we want to thank you. We will get that to you as soon as possible. We're working on getting the account set up so that you, the rest of you who cannot afford to go through the system the way we have it set up, that's fine. There are a couple other situations that we have coming up that we have to take care of, and we're working on those as we speak. So by Thursday, Friday, they'll be taking me into somebody's custody. I'm a, look. Some of you are going to be happy about that. And you deserve everything you got coming in life. And I do wish that you get exactly what you got coming. And I'm not joking. I'm not lying. I'm not. I'm saying for that type of attitude, you deserve everything you got coming. Don't complain. When you get it, when it comes your way, don't complain. Those of you who want to understand, I'm going to be okay. I've known about this for 18 years okay I'm all right because I get to take care of the arbitration issue I get to take care of uh, the warrant that they have in Puerto Rico I get to kill that all I do is do a, a written warrant uh, search and once that's done that's taken care of then I get to take care of the appeal that was going on for three and a half years and they never responded because they were using a warrant in Puerto Rico as an issue I just had to wait Okay, this is all a game, people. They're playing games. So now I play games back. But the God that I serve is doing this for my protection. They're not doing this to me. So please don't think they're doing this to me. That's why I say the people who think that ought to get what they deserve. The people who think that and who think that in a negative way and who think that, oh, that's what he get. Then you deserve everything you got coming. If that's what I get, that you deserve everything you got coming. So, ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell, everything is okay. Do not worry about me. Do not cry for me, Argentina. You bet not cry for me. Okay, I am going to be okay. Because I will, like I've done before, gut that mother from within. That's what I do. I rip the thing apart from within. Because that's what I'm good at. Yeah, they'll try their little stupid stuff, but I'm all right, everyone. All right, just want to make this one short. We're going to get back with you. And, yeah, that's it. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good life. Have a good night. Have a good time. I'll be right back.